from the desert to the Rocky Mountains, the Pelicans are drastically changing climates when they face the West's second-best team in the Denver Nuggets. The Nuggets took a moment off from their recent streak of dominance to watch the Pelicans slog their way through a 130-116 victory over the hapless Phoenix Suns. 24 turnovers, 12 from Holiday, Payton, and an early 10-point deficit weren't enough to fall at the hands of the league's worst squad, 12 wins. 57 points from Etwan Moore, Julius Randle, and Sheikh Diallo were enough to overcome the young group just before boarding the plane to Colorado. But the Pelicans cannot expect the same level of tolerance from the 42-win Denver Nuggets. On top of having won 11 of their previous 14 games before losing to Utah Thursday, the Nuggets are 8th in ball protection and playing the game of basketball just as God had intended. 2nd in assists, 5th in rebounding, 5th average margin of victory, and 3rd in offensive rating, the Denver Nuggets are clicking on all cylinders, with Nikola Djokic at the forefront of their well-balanced attack. If you'll remember, it was Djokic and his triple-double that put the Pelicans asleep four weeks ago with back-to-back -back reverse layups against Jalil Okafor to put the Pelicans down for good, 104-99, with 42 seconds to play. But this team is not a one-trick pony like the fourth-rated defense in New Orleans. The 11th-rated defense is the league's best in defending the boards, 5th in limited transition opportunities, and 7th in points allowed. The Nuggets are one of the league's most efficient half-court squads on both ends, out-executing opponents with fundamentals. The Nuggets don't give teams the freedom to outrun them, carrying the league's fourth slowest pace. By now the secret is out on Monty Morris and Malik Beasley, and they help round out one of the league's very best benches alongside Plumlee, Hernan Gomez, Trey Lyles, Isaiah Thomas and soon-to-be Michael Porter Jr. One interesting development is Gary Harris's demotion to the bench in recent games due to a previous adductor strain. Beasley has earned minutes in his place. Trey Lyles will also likely be held out due to a hamstring strain. On Pelican side, Anthony Davis will sit for rest purposes after logging his expected 21-minute total against the Suns, 17 points, 8 rebounds, and Jalil Okafor should start in his place. Okafor's development has hit a snag recently averaging just over 11 minutes per game in his last five. This could be due to the surge of fellow frontcourt mate, Sheikh Diallo, who has thrived due to Anthony Davis's limitations. In his past five games, Diallo has averaged 12.8 points and 7.6 rebounds in under 20 minutes of action per night. Should this recent trend continue, Diallo may get some big boy minutes against Paul Millsap and Nikola Djokic late tonight. However, I would still expect Okafor to match up with Djokic due to his mammoth size and low block bullying. So, join us tonight as we glimpse into an experiment that has seen the Pelicans overcome expectations at every turn with their franchise player on the bench. A Pelicans victory could further the narrative that the team is in fact better without him, while a loss slips the Pelicans closer and closer to landing Zion Williamson. A win-win. Let's go, Pels. Starting lineups, Pelicans, Payton, Drew, Kenrich, Randall, Davis, Denver, Murray, Beasley, Barton, Millsap, Jokic where to watch, listen what New Orleans Pelicans, 27-35, at Denver Nuggets where, Pepsi Center, Denver, Colorado win, Saturday, March 2, 2019. 8 p.m. Central Standard Time How, FSNO, 99.5 FMWRNO.